Hello, and welcome to Crafting with Chris. I'm Chris, and this is my crafting corner. And before we get started, let's make ourselves comfortable. All right, now that that's through, come on over and let's get cracking on some crafting. Our first project today is something that I like to call fun. Fun with. Come on. I can't. Fun with. Fun with letters. We're going to have some fun with letters. Now, before we start, we're going to need five simple things. First thing, scissors. We're going to be doing a lot of cutting today. You might want to use safety scissors. I don't recommend it. Uh, you will be getting cut during this. I sure did, and uh, there's no way around it. Uh, next, we're going to need paper. I like to use lots of colorful paper. It's just fun. It makes me happy. Then we're going to need lots and lots and lots of little teeny letters. You can get them uh, really any magazine, any newspaper. Then, really crucial, I want you to bring your imagination. And then you need glue too. You need glue because we're going to be gluing all these little fellas down to the paper. Uh, you can use whatever glue you like. Um, I use Elmer's. I also like to I use glue sticks. I use tape. I, uh, I sometimes even use staples. I know staples aren't a glue, but they work just like one. This first letter, very near and dear to my heart. Uh, my cousin, she recently discovered that she was with child and uh, the rest of the family decided to throw a gender reveal party because those are all of the rage right now. I was uh, unable to come as I was asked not to be there, but uh, I thought I would go ahead and send something just to show her how much I appreciate her and how much excitement in my heart that I have for her because we were so close as kids and, uh, you know, so excited for her. My, my cup overfloweth and it says, congrats. And on the inside it says, enjoy the boy. Enjoy the boy. There's your boy. There's my cousin. Isn't she beautiful? There's your little boy. And uh, I'm sorry that I got the gender wrong, but it's the thought that counts. And I think about you a lot. Then put it in an envelope and send it away. It's a stubborn little guy. Be careful when you're sealing your envelope not to cut your tongue. I'm gonna seal that shut. Put the address on, I'm not going to do it on TV, I don't want you following my cousin. And then I want to seal it with a kiss. This next letter, I actually, uh, I was inspired to make this because I saw a lost dog poster and uh, made me pretty sad. I lost all my pets in a tragic accident years ago. I said, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna help that person out. So I made this. It says, do you want your dog back? And I made that because I, I can find your dog. I'm an excellent tracker. Uh, I actually, when I saw the poster, I, the first dog I saw, I believed it was yours. I actually did manage to track it down and I got a hunk of it. Don't worry, it's fine, it's just hair. And if you're really salty about it, Critter got a little bit of me too, you know, we both, we, we both didn't come out of this the same. And uh, if you want the rest of your dog, you just need to contact me. Let's get your dog back to you in one piece. Uh, I actually recently got into a little bit of a tiff with my landlord because she's lying, uh, saying that she's, she's claiming that uh, I'm lying about things around my house that need to be fixed just because I want to get her over here. Uh, and that's not true. And uh, they are really broken, Kathy. And uh, that's why this last letter is for Kathy. And uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a longer one. 
uh, says, Dear Kathy, season's greetings. With that said, this is the last straw. My drains are still clogged with disgusting human hair. Do you recognize it? It's not mine, Kathy. I have midnight jet black hair. This is clearly brown. Anyways, things are really piling up. I can barely stand in my shower. Ha ha ha. Not, not fooling. Not fooling. Please fix ASAP as soon as possible. Lots of love, Chris. P.S. Be seeing you real soon. Celeste, I don't even have to find a stamp for this one, but I am going to put it in an envelope. This is going to, should be pretty easy. Fold it up. Whoop. Shoot. There we go. Oops. Another paper cut. I told you folks, it's not, you're going to get cut. It's fine. You just kind of, this is why we have tools. Uh, we're going to take our little sizzies. We're going to take a little off the top. <laughs> hey, Barber. Me next. Just a trim, please. You just want to easily... Okay. Ah! Ow, ooh. Oh, shoot. That's a little deeper than the other ones. That's a gusher. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is just, you know, finally put that in the envelope. There we go, like a glove. See ya. Maybe put that on there. Just make sure it's... Maybe a couple extra staples. Oh, that's my finger. And uh, seal that shut, seal it with a kiss. And there it is, it's done. I'm glad you could be a part of this, and I just wanted to say, sayonara, here's Chris from Crafting with Chris, just signing off. Have a good weekend.